Welcome back to Resident Evil 4. Last time, as we finished chapter 1, one Leon met a new friend, and then they were both uh, captured by the big cheese. So, we're going to continue on to chapter 1, 2, and, uh, well, let's see what happens. Feeble humans. Let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Bloop! <clears throat> Hey, wake up. Ay, uh, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now, what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy. That's QTE time. Do something, cop. After you. It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. All right, well, we have a bit of a, an updated objective. We need to go to a church because apparently that's where Ashley's being held. But uh, let us, you know, give a moment of silence for the real victim here, uh, Leon's awesome jacket, which you may notice he does not have anymore. It was taken. Can you believe it? Leon's jacket that you see him in, in all of the, uh, in, like the artwork and renders of his character in this game. He only has it for chapter one, one. It's a shame. Also, you might wonder why, uh, if Lewis and Leon were tied up in here by the Ganados, why did one come in here and try to kill them? I like to think that that was probably the first Ganado from the first house at the beginning, the guy who Leon walked into his house and shot. I don't know if it was, but that was the same model. I mean, that model is re used repeatedly throughout the game, but... That was the same model as the first one, so I like to think that maybe he just came in here, said, screw the orders, he was going to get his own revenge. Didn't work out, though. Didn't work out. 
Over here, stranger. There's the boy. Tactical rifle cartridges. Well, we don't have a rifle yet, but we will soon. Why is there a bell next to the typewriter? It's something I just... I don't know. I guess I never thought about before. Anyway, let's go talk to our... Our new best friend who knows a business opportunity when he sees one. And Leon is a walking business opportunity. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. So we get teleported into uh, the merchant's cave of capitalism, where it is time to do business. Don't know if you noticed, stranger, but did you see the blue medallions hanging around in the village? Come back after you've shot ten or more of them. I've got a specialized gun I want you to try. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Anyway, shoot the blue. He put the blue medallions up. Got to get them and show them to him. All right, what can we do here? Well, let's first let's what are you selling? sell some goods. My goods, my inventory, not quite the same as the end of the last video because I did restart the game to do chapter 1-1 one, one over again just to get a bit of a better handle on the controls. So my inventory is a bit different. A lot more eggs this time. When I went through the farm this time, those chickens were very scared of the gunfire, laid many eggs. I am teeming with eggs. It's not what we're here to sell. We're here to sell treasures, like for example... This wonderful, beautiful, clean pearl pendant. Pretty good condition. Looks valuable. Let's set it on the table. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. He loves it. Let's get our spinels. Uh, we're not going to sell that beer stein because we have to find two more cat's eyes to make it really worth what it's worth. Let's sell. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So this is a man, I don't know what his nationality is. Is he from here? Where is he from? Who knows? He is a mystery. He is drawn by the smell of business and, and pesetas. And he knows Leon what are you buying? is going to be buying and selling many things. So the first thing we're going to buy is the attache, attache, attache case M. Is that all, stranger? To make our box bigger. <laughs> Thank you. A bigger box is always good. Next, we have the rifle. Is that all, stranger? Which we're definitely going to buy. And uh, I believe we grab and put in there. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. There's the TMP. Opinions differ on the TMP. Uh, some people like it. Some people don't. I've never really used the TMP. It's just, I don't know. I tried it before. Didn't really like it. Some people swear by it. You know, when people who play Resident Evil 4 have very strong opinions about the weapons you should be using. Uh, your, your opinions kind of get set in stone, I think. This is a VR version, so things could certainly be different, but I never really use the TMP. I'm going to buy a old stranger? Buy a new scope for our rifle. <laughs> Thank you. I could buy the TMP, but I have enough money. But kind of the thing is... Uh, a uh, suitcase space is kind of at a premium, isn't it? What are you buying? Well, we could tune weapons up. However, my handgun and shotgun, I am going get, to be getting rid of those at some point, so I usually don't tune those up. The bolt-action rifle, I usually keep the whole game. I usually don't get the uh, second rifle. So we could upgrade this, and it looks like I can upgrade the firepower. Is that all, stranger? We'll do that. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I've used my money. Hopefully it pays off. All right, here he is in front of us. He's tall. Actually, uh, is he supposed to be taller than Leon? Because I seem to remember them being about the same height. Step on my tippy toes. Look him in the eyes. And uh, doesn't let me walk any. <clears throat> the game doesn't let me walk any closer to him, but I can just walk, you know, in real life closer. Because, mm, of course, we had to do it. 
Let's give him a big ol' hug. Big ol' hug to our best friend. Can I, um... Can I get, like, a little peek there? No? Okay. We, we'll respect his privacy. Um, one thing I'll say... I feel a little bit disappointed at the, the buying and selling interface. We get warped to a cave. We know his inventory is in his coat. So, I mean, if you're thinking about realistically what's happening when Leon and the merchant do business, is he opens his coat and Leon would be like, look and say, hmm, okay, here's like a rifle. We got a scope right here. Uh, okay, what should I buy? Like, that's actually what would be happening there. And that's just not what's being portrayed. I want a realistic portrayal of Leon perusing the goods. Because this is where the real business is happening, if you know what I mean. We'll be seeing him later. Also, uh kind of established now the way to, the way to swing the knife is keep my hand my, keep my arm folded in close to me and then like swing down or cross hard to make the swing register but I don't want to swing my I don't want to extend my hand uh, because I have bashed things in the room a few times on my desk doing that so keep it sh keep the keep the range short but the swing forceful No, how's my health doing? Okay. Health is fine. Want to be stealthy here, don't we? Don't want them to notice old Leon. Doesn't seem like they notice a lot, though. Like, they built up this impressive structure with these bridges going across this canyon. And they're just patrolling. Patrolling for what? I don't know. Like, as far as they know, Leon and Lewis are both captive. Oh, someone saw me. Well, that guy didn't. Neither did those guys. But the music has started. Oh, okay, someone's running in. Someone's running. Okay, this guy. He's, um... Hello? Sir? Sir? There you go. Sounded like someone else saw me. I heard the battle cry. I mean, everyone else is just kind of lazily uh, wandering around, so it's not everyone. The music is still going, isn't it? Doesn't seem like anyone else is coming. And if no one else is coming, this is probably a good time. For Leon to jump in. You know, I was just in the middle of that sentence. I was about to say, if no one's coming, then Leon has a lot of work to do. Like, what was that? What was that going to mean? Leon is going to make everyone come. I think that's what the joke was forming. And just it wasn't coming out right. Okay, we equipped the new scope. Like It has a scope by default, but we bought an upgraded scope for the rifle when we bought the rifle. Okay, so we can assign weapons and items to our body slots. The handgun is on our waist. The shotgun is over the left shoulder. At least, well, my left side. Grenade in center chest. Uh, health item over right shoulder. I'm going to change from shotgun to rifle. Now, yeah, now I got the rifle. Let's start using it. Okay, zoom in and out. And since this is bolt action, I have to do that every time I shoot one. Oh, someone saw me. It's just like one dude at a time, though. Like, when I go out there, 
It's gonna be many dudes. So let's just uh, see how many we can do before we go out there. I see that one guy wandering around. Eh, let's go out there. Let's see. Oh, okay, I see someone else over there. I mean, I think they're just going to stay on their perches, though. Oh, let me get that money. Why don't we head on out and see what we get? And uh, if we're going to head on out, why don't we switch back to that shotgun? Uh, yep. Dudes are coming. They're coming. They have a lot of trouble keeping their balance. That guy's just still wandering around. He's, he's okay where he is. He doesn't feel the need to just run on out just because Leon's here. Here come some friends. Someone coming up from over there. But we do have an explodey barrel. Have we seen explodey barrels yet? Is this the first one in the game? This might be the first one. We haven't seen one, but it is a red barrel. And when you see a red barrel, I mean, you know what it means. It's like the universal video game language for this explodes, so... You don't need a tutorial for that. Just give them a light tap on the head, on the noggin. They'll get the message. There's that guy over there. All right, now we got a closer view of these two. There we go. Got him right in the dynamite. Oh. My hand was drifting. That's something I usually don't see with this, uh, with the Oculus Quest. But just, just for a second. Well, don't see anyone, but the music is still going. Which means there are more friends waiting somewhere. I mean, Leon would have no way of knowing what that's for, but he's going to take it with him. 
That seems higher than it should be. I feel like Leon is taller than this. I don't know, maybe this is just reflecting my actual height. I feel like Leon S. Kennedy would be a bit taller, though. Oh. Um, hold on. Why don't we... Get that, get that back. Actually, hold on. Can we... Can I replace my healing item slot with this? No, okay. I just wanted to know, could you have two weapons on your back? No, you cannot. You cannot replace your healing item slot with a gun. I feel you should be able to do that if you wanted to. But I guess we can't. Oh, am I just out of ammo? That might be the case. Yeah, it still says reload. No, wait. I'm not out of ammo, am I? I'm. Pr Didn't we pick up a box of rifle bullets? Or am I just imagining that? Yeah? Over there? Rifle ammo? Hmm. That's odd. Seems like that's all there. Oh, wait, hold on. No. Right, right. That's to reload the gun. We have to manually get the ammo from the belt and then. And then. Okay, yes. Wasn't thinking. I would mention that, um. There is. It does feel like there is some wind resistance and some jitter when I go through the scope. Like, it's not. Like, it, it's not the, um... It's not the easiest thing to aim that far away. It feels like there is something... It feels like, you know, it's jittering a little bit to make it a bit harder. on. Num, num, num. Here's the exit from this area. It won't open. Looks like something fits inside this hexagonal indentation. Like maybe half of an emblem? Sure does. But where's the other half? Anything behind there? Oh yeah, there's, there's a couple of barrels over there. Over here, I should say. only that one guy? You only see the one guy in there. And that's it.
and here's our second half of the emblem for this big door they built. If Leon doesn't need that ladder, no one will need that ladder. It's always funny when you approach a ladder from above, and then you might think you're just going to go down it, but no, Leon's, uh, the, the button prompt is for Leon to kick the ladder down. Because he doesn't need it, he can just jump down. Second half, in there, to Ganado Base. That's where we're headed. It's a fancy mask over there. Leon wants to get that mask so he can wear it to his fancy parties. His fancy Secret Service parties that they all go to. Uh, hello? There are no doors through which we can enter this room, only the windows. Fortunately, that's how Leon S. Kennedy likes it. It's his preferred way of entering a room. It's the most dramatic way to enter a room, of course. And of course, where else would you star store handgun bullets? But in your stove. It's the best place for it, really. Yep, there's that mask over there. 
What a fancy, elegant mask. It's got three holes in it. Which, of course, means we can find three things to put in it. It's not truly elegant until all the things are filled with things. It's what they teach you in the Secret Service. Leon, if you find some sort of strange antique looking treasure thing that has holes in it, don't sell it right away. Look for gemstones or something that could fit into it. It'll make it more valuable. Got it, Hunnigan. Hunnigan, look at this gold mask I found. How much money do you think it's worth? Agarralo! Maybe we could ask him. Maybe he might have an idea of the worth of the of this gold mask around here. Leon, what's the status of the mission? Have you found the president's daughter? Negative, Hunnigan, but I have found this sweet beer stein and a gem that fits into it. I'm looking for the other two. Leon out. People just throwing away their flash grenades and money down here. Flash grenades will, uh, well, as the name says, will stun everyone in the room because they're so, they make such, such bright light. And there are some points where that will be very useful. Not this, right here is not one of those points. Right here is fish. There are fish. We can go fishing in a, the only, you know, the only real way to go fishing. Jump in the water with the fish and start knifing them. My inventory is full. It's not surprising. This is a very large fish. The fish is a healing item, unlike Resident Evil Village, in which it's uh, they result in per permanent upgrades. Even if I were to organize this, there would not be enough room for a fish. I mean, I could try to save some space. Those are the only red and yellow herbs I have. The others are... Uh, are all green. So it looks like that's the... Unless I wanted to get rid of objects in favor of the fish. Okay, so we can rotate objects in the inventory just by rotating the wrist, your, your wrist as you turn them like that. Oh, right, right. Um... I mean, I guess if the other, those other two were there, we might as well, you know, put them all in the same place. It's a losing battle with Resident Evil 4, as the more items you get, the, the messier everything becomes. I mean, every, every, everyone knows this. You know, how, you know how this goes. You can separate sections off in your inventory for uh, a variety of items. Can I? Okay, yeah, like that. You can try to do it. Um, you know, eventually, though, things will just get, you just get a, get a few items, things become just messy again. No way of avoiding that. Yeah, well, the point is that there's not going to be any room here for a, for a big fish. So we will have to say goodbye to the fish. This is the one that got away. It was... It was this big. You know, I noticed that going up ladders is automatic. There are some VR games in which when you climb ladders, you do it by manually going with, like this with the hands. I, I wonder why they decided not to do that for this game. All right, we're heading to Mendez Manor. We're back outside. We got birds. You know what birds mean? It means stuff. Birds got, oh, birds got stuff. We know they do. Here's some stuff over here. Once again, let's see. Shoot that, then shoot that to make sure we. this is all nice and shiny. It's a brass pocket watch.
Mind the bomb. It's a, uh, I'm, I'm glad it says dangerous on that. I'm glad they're clarifying that the bomb is dangerous. A large crystal ball. Looks like it rotates. What devious mind-bending puzzle could this to these villagers have in store for Leon Kennedy? There it is. I do like that you, you manually rotate that with your hand. It's a nice touch. Insignia key. That is a key with an insignia on it. No denying it. They're all textbooks written in English. I don't have time to read them. I mean, he's not wrong. There are many books here. As for what the books are, well, um, there's Ulysses. Uh, actually, I should, I should clarify. It's Ulysses and by Ja Im's Joy Wies. I didn't realize that was the, the proper formatting of that. Books are also multiple copies of that. Very large books for a very large man. But where is that large man? <laughs> you carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood. And as the as chapter one two ends, we had Leon had his second encounter with Chief Mendez, which did not go any better than the first. Though, uh, the chief was, was kind of nice. Um, you know, he uh, let Leon live, even though Leon has killed many villagers at this point. And, um, apparently, I guess, is giving him permission to walk around the village, I suppose, just as long as he doesn't start any trouble. Leon, of course, is going to start trouble. We got 85% hit ratio, 38 enemies killed, no times killed during this chapter. Next is 1-3. I want to... It, 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 nope, let's... Uh, there we go. Um, give me a big cheese with some same blood. And uh, we'll continue on in Resident Evil 4 VR as Leon tries to find out what does he mean by that? Same blood? What? Hmm...